What's up YouTube? Welcome to 2024 and welcome back to Work From Home Tech. This video and this year, we're gonna start it off with the simplest way that I found to install Docker, including an orchestration manager in about 60 seconds. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and go over here. We're going to take a look at multipass. Now run. This is a Ubuntu project and it is really simple. It is very well documented and this will be something that you can get done super quick. So right here on the Work From Home Tech channel, we always optimize efficiency, getting stuff done quickly and efficiently. So let's stop wasting my time. Go ahead and save the preferences for that. We're gonna do install now. You can see it supports Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. So you are covered no matter what operating system you have. So we're gonna go here and essentially we have to do the launch of the installation executable. So we want to download it for Windows. We click this and get the download. Uh, this is a brand spanking new machine I have here that essentially I have Chrome installed, not much else. I'm going to run Multipass. We're going to use the Windows Hyper-V recommended. Now, you may have challenges with that if you're not using uh, Windows Professional, uh, but my advice is to go ahead and ensure that you have Windows Professional if you're going to be working on a business type system. So here we're gonna go ahead and install. We're gonna do a add multi-pass to the current user's path, recommended, and we're just gonna install on the C drive. So here we install multi-pass, and multi-pass is going to use that hypervisor so that you can launch basically a virtual machine, and within that virtual machine, you can actually launch containers. The first container we're gonna launch is a platform um, we're going to go ahead and do the reboot. And of course, a Windows update has to come while it's doing the reboot. So now we're back and recovered from the reboot. Let's go ahead and we want to run a command line. Now that you have multipass installed, you can do a multipass find see all the packages you can see there's multiple variations or multiple versions of ubuntu all the way from 16 to 23. Uh, what we're interested in is we're interested in doctor down there at the bottom so what we're going to do is we're going to launch it and this is going to install docker and in this version of docker that they install they actually install portainer which will allow you to do orchestration of additional Docker containers so you can install a Minio application for S3 uh, bucket type applications. You can install Nextcloud in a Docker container if you want to have kind of office productivity. Um, while this is installing, uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and open up our Chrome browser, get that ready, um, go back to this command, because what you want to do is you want to identify the IP address that the um, multipass container is running on, and you'll have to put that in within a certain couple of minutes that's going to be imposed by the portainer application um, because it's going to allow you to set the admin and set the password, and it'll time out, and you'll have to restart everything to get it come back up. So what I'll do is I'll do a multi-pass list. And now you can see my IP address here that's running inside of this multi-pass network that they created. And I'll go over here to the browser and port 9000 after the IP address is what's going to allow me to connect to Portainer. Now that I've got those correct, 
I can do work from home tech as the user. I don't want to allow collection of anonymous statistics and I'll create the user. Now you can see that I say never here, um, close that. Now we are up and running. This is the Portainer Community Edition that's going to provide your orchestration. You can come in here and install applications by going simply to the application template, taking a look at the templates that are available here in this particular repo. Uh, we've got Drupal, Content Management System, Minio, S3, Object Storage. We've got GitLab, Community Edition, Elasticsearch, Redis DB, uh, Datadog, Jenkins. We've got multiple applications that you can install containers for working in your environment for whatever your business needs are.